Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Tuesday in the second week of Ordinary Time, the memorial of St. Anthony Abbot. St. Anthony, the celebrated father of monks, was born in Egypt around the year 250. After his parents died, he distributed his property to the poor and beginning a life of penance, withdrew into solitude. He attracted disciples and labored on behalf of the church, giving support to believers during the persecution of Diocletian and assisting St. Athanasius against the Arians. He died in 356. We will now have the morning prayer of the church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Forty years I endured that generation, I said. They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God, wonderful in His saints. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth. Let this be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the heart. O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. 
I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, raising heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the netherworld that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks, as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. To you, our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you, we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you, all flesh will come, with its burden of sin, to heavy for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he who you who chose and called to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth. You drench its furrows. You level it. Soften it with showers, you bless, it, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with weed, they shout for joy, yes, they sing. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who brought the abbot Saint Anthony to serve you by a wondrous way of life in the desert, grant through his intercession that denying ourselves, we may always love you above all things. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love you have demonstrated for his name by having served and continuing to serve the holy ones. We earnestly desire each of you to demonstrate the same eagerness for the fulfillment of hope until the end, so that you may not become sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience are inheriting the promises. When God made the promise of Abraham, 
since he had no one creature by whom to swear, he swore by himself and said, I will indeed bless you and multiply you. And so, after patient waiting, Abraham obtained the promise. Now, men swear by someone greater than themselves. For them, an oath serves as a guarantee and puts an end to all argument. So, when God wanted to give the heirs of his promise an even clearer demonstration of the immutability of his purpose, he intervened with an oath so that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie. We who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. This we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, which reaches into the interior behind the veil, where Jesus has entered on our behalf as forerunner, becoming high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Please stand. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, enlighten the eyes of our hearts, that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a part while picking the heads of grain. At this, the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful? On the Sabbath, he said to them, Have you never read what David did 
when he was in it and he and his companions were hungry, how he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest and ate the bread of offering that only the priest could lawfully eat and share it with his companions. Then he said to him, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord, even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ano ba talaga ang bawal? Sa ating ebanghelyo, maninig natin na si Jesus at kanyang mga alagad ay naglalakad. Napagod, nagutom. Sa kanilang daan may mga butil ng trigo. Hinog na. Kaya pumita sila, kinukot at kinain. Nang makita ito ng mga pare sa iyo, sabi nila, bawal yung ginawa ninyo. Araw ng Sabat, bawal yan. Una, pumitas kayo ng mga butil. Nag-ani kayo. Bawal yan. Araw ng Sabat, bawal mag-ani, bawal magtrabaho. Pangalawa, kinukot din yun. Naghanda kayo ng pagkain. Bawal din yan. Bawal maghanda ng pagkain pag araw ng Sabat. Ginawa niyo ang bawal. Kaya sumagot si Jesus, simple at malinaw. Ang ipinagbabawal ay ang gumawa ng masama. Kailanman, hindi bawal ang gumawa ng mabuti. Ang masama ay anumang nakakapinsala o nakakapahamak ng ating sarili at ng ating kapwa. Ang kasalanan, pinapahamak niya, hindi lang ating sarili, kundi ang ating kaluluwa. Kaya ang talagang pinagbabawal ay ang paggawa ng kasalanan. Bawal ang magkasala. Malinaw, bawal ang gumawa ng kasalanan. Pero bakit nagagawa pa rin natin? Kasi masarap ang bawal. Kung anong pinagbabawal, ang gustong gusto natin gawin. Halimbawa lang ha, may sakit ka. Kabilin-bilinan ng doktor, bawal sa'yo, bawal sa'yo ha, ang mga pagkain na to ha. Kaya ano ka, ang sarap kaya ng litson, sarap kaya ng chitsaron, sarap kaya ng tsokolate, ang sarap ng cake, ang sarap ng ice cream, sarap kaya ng alak. At ang depensa natin, may gamot naman eh. At paminsan-minsan lang naman to eh. At hindi naman alam ng doktor ko eh. At kahit malaman niya, eh mabait naman siya eh. Gagamutin naman niya ako eh. At ganito din ang ating depensa pag tayo gumagawa ng kasalanan na bawal. Minsan lang naman eh. Wala namang nakakakita eh. At kahit alam ng Diyos, mabait naman ng Diyos eh. Para tawarin naman niya ako eh. Kaya tuloy, parang ang dali gumawa ng kasalanan na bawal. Ang mga ipinagbabawal ay nariyan. Hindi upang tayo ay pahirapan, hindi upang tayo ay pagkaitan. Nandiyan yan upang tayo ay alagaan at ingatan upang hindi tayo mapahamak. Halimbawa, may mga pinagbabawal sa kalsada, sa lansangan, sa highway, sa expressway, nakalagay doon, bawal tumawid, nakamamatay. Pero ginagawa natin, anong nangyayari? Naksidente, may namamatay. O meron pa, bawal kumaliwa, one way. Ginagawa natin, kaya anong nangyayari? Kabulbul yung traffic. Nakakabangkaan. At ito pa, bawal mga liwa. 
Kasama yan sa sampung utos. Pero, bakit nagagawa natin? O ginagawa pa rin natin? Isa lang naman dahilan eh. Kulang tayo sa disiplina. Wala tayong kontrol sa ating sarili. Ginagawa lang natin ang gusto nating gawin. Ibigay ang hilig. Kaya magandang paalaala ng ating ebanghelyo ngayon. Disiplinahin natin ang ating sarili. Sumunod tayo sa utos ng Diyos. Bawal gumawa ng masama. Huwag mong ipahamak ang iyong sarili. Huwag mong ipahamak ang iba. Huwag kang gumawa ng kasalanan. Naka mamatay. Yan ang tunay na bawal. Sitayo po tayo. Let us pray to God our Father who has called all His sons and daughters to become free in His Son Jesus Christ. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors of freedom from sin and wise to serve God and people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leg legislators everywhere may make laws that are human and serve God of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may never put law above people but practice first the great commandments of loving one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are worried of their sickness may find consolation and strength from those who care for them and love them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the bishops of the Philippines and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Peñarfort. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That it and rest be upon our beloved dead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, let a big command of yours be to us an invitation to love and serve our brothers and sisters, to understand and to respect, to guide and to be guided. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May these offerings of our service placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Anthony be acceptable to you, Lord, we pray, and grant that, released from earthly attachments, we may have our riches in you alone, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Anthony, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the You are indeed the Holy o Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat his bread and drink his cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Pa 
paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion bago po humarap, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang ostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang ostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang ostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Whoever does the fa my father's will, says the Lord, he is my brother, my sister, and my mother. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the Yotis word to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Whoever does my Father's will, says the Lord, he is my brother, my sister, and my mother. Let us pray. Nourished for our healing by your sacraments, O Lord, may we escape every snare of the enemy and harm, just as your grace, St. Anthony, won glorious victories over the powers of darkness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikiisa sa banal na misa. At patuloy nating pagnilay-nilayan at isabuhay ang mensahe ng ating Ebanghelyo para sa misang ito. Mahal tayo ng Diyos, kaya may mga ipinagbabawal. Ayaw niya tayong mapahamak. Pag-ingat po kayo sa pag-uwi at naway lagi po kayong pagpalain ng ating Panginoon at ng ating mahal na ina hanggang sa muli po. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. To the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oil, scapulas, crucifixes, other articles of devotion be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.